Hello everyone. How are you all? Welcome back to your English class. I hope you are enjoying your holidays and studying as well. Okay. So, uh today I will be continuing the chapter singular and plural, the uh next rules. But before that, before starting my rules, I would just discuss I want to discuss the homework that I have given you yesterday. So, I have given you two uh questions that was the rewind part and the main homework part. So, first I will discuss the rewind questions. Okay. So, the first question was in each of the sentence there is a singular noun and that should have been in the plural form so you have to underline it and you have to write the plural form like put these please put these box in the store so with these these we use the plural form that is box right the plural form of box will be boxes and we will add x e s right so the answer will be we will underline box and the answer will be boxes second the lady bought some potato with some also we use the plural form that is potato potatoes o ending we will add es put all the dirty dish in the sink so we will underline dish because all the dirty all with all we use the plural form that is dish so the plural form of dishes dishes d i s h e s dishes the chef has a set of 10 knife so a set of 10 knife with uh, the countable words like 10 so we will use the plural form that is knife so we will underline knife and the sentence will and the word will be k n i v e s knives right okay Okay, now the second part, the second homework, that was the main homework. Uh, so, in that, these sentences have mistakes in the use of singular and plural nouns. You have to spot the errors and you have to rewrite the correct sentences in your practice notebook. So, first one was, there are many glass on the table. So, I have told you earlier, with many, we use a plural form. That is, there are many glasses. So, what will be the, uh, like, the plural form of glass? That will be glasses, G-L-A-S-S-E-S, right? Then, this university is very big and spacious. With this, T-H-I-S, this. With this, we use the singular noun, that is, university, U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T, why university then there are six desks in the classroom there are six desks in the classroom d-e-s-k-s -S, desk then the buffalo are grazing on the green grass the buffaloes o-e-s buffaloes b-u-f-f-a-l-o-e-s then these knife are very sharp so the same these it is a plural form like <clears throat> this these right so these we will use the plural form of that noun that is knife k n i v e s many with many the plural form of boy that is many boys have participated in this competition b o y s so with this i come to the end of the homework part now i shall be beginning with the rest of the chapter the second part part 2 okay so i shall begin now okay students now here is your chapter number 6, part 2, the noun number. Okay, so here we are beginning with the topic. And uh, first I just want to you give you a quick recap of the rules that we have done yesterday. Right, like the rule number 1 was, that is that end in CH, SH, S, double S and X, we add ES. Like examples, church, churches, radish, radishes, bus, buses, glass, glasses, fax, faxes. That end... In Z, add ZES, we add ZES more. Okay, like quiz, quizzes. That end in O, we add ES, like buffalo, buffaloes, eco, ecos, volcano, volcanoes. That end in F and FE, the change the F or FE into V and we add ES, that is lof, lofs, wolf, wolves, knife, knives. That end in a consonant and Y. So we change the Y into I and we add ES like trophy, trophies, family, families, university, universities. Right? That end in a vowel and Y. We add 
S like turkey, turkeys, valley, valleys. Any vowel which add with a Y like A Y, E Y, I Y, O Y or U Y, we will always add S. So you can see the table, the same table is there that I have given you yesterday that I have discussed you. So I have given you a quick recap of all the rules that we have covered yesterday. Right. Now we are coming to the next part, the starting that is rule number seven that states that these singular nouns, they do not follow any rules when they change into plural. Right. The whole spelling is changed. For example, child, children, foot, feet. So you can see that here we have not followed any rules. Right. We don't have, we have not followed any rules. For example, one child, two children, person, people, goose, geese, fungus, fungi, criterion, criteria, nucleus, nuclei, man, men. Right. Okay. So sometimes a word may completely change its form when a plural is may. So like yesterday we have done a quick exercise, small exercise. So today also we will be doing the same. Like foot, what will be the answer? Any guesses? Yes, feet, mouse, mice, tooth, teeth, woman, woman, cactus, cacti right so here is your rule number seven that states that these singular nouns they do not follow any rules when they change into plurals right okay so now here comes rule number eight okay now in rule number eight what it is there it is there that some singular nouns they do not change when they become plurals right for example one fish two fishes one deer, three deer, one sheep, three sheep, one fruit, seven fruits, right? So some singular nouns, they do not change when they become the plural form, right? So here you can see rule number eight that sometimes a word may stay the same in both the singular and plural forms. One fish, two fish, bream, bream, aircraft, aircraft, salmon, salmon, series, uh, series trout trout moose moose okay so here same we are having a quick exercise small exercise okay so will you try okay we'll try together species species deer deer offspring offspring sheep sheep perch perch tuna tuna perch and tuna they are both a type of a fish Okay, so rule number eight, it states that some singular nouns, they do not change when they become plural, right? Okay, so now we are coming to the next thing that we are having important points that we have to keep in mind, okay, while changing the singular nouns into plural nouns, okay? So here it is, like when we talk about different kinds of fish, the plural can be fishes, Okay, if we have different kinds of fish, we can use fishes. Okay, but if there are no different kinds of fish, we will not use fishes. We will only use fish. If there are so many fish in the aquarium of same, uh, you can say category, so we will use only fish. But if there are different kinds of fish, we can use fishes. For example, the various fishes of the Indian Ocean. Similarly, fruit is used in the singular, but we do use fruits when we are talking about a variety of fruits. For example, a variety of fruits were served at the lunch, right? So if we are talking about only one type of fruit and there are many uh, numbers, like there are many apples, so we will use only the word fruit. But if we are having different kinds of fruits like apple, mango, orange, so we will use a variety of fruits. Okay, here comes another rule that is these nouns, they do not have a plural form. Okay, so these nouns, they do not have a plural form. There is a list that they do not have a plural form. First one is scenery. Second one is news. Third one is furniture. Fourth one is equipment. Fifth one is information. Next is luggage right 
and the last one is mathematics so these nouns they do not have a plural form so these are the important points you have to keep in mind when you are changing the singular nouns into a plural nouns okay there are more important points which are i will be going to discuss further okay now the next points we are coming the important points that are see uncountable nouns that are not counted uncountable nouns and abstract nouns which we can only feel they are used only in the singular nouns for example please give me some advice she has a lot of gold they replaced all the old machinery in their factory i would like two spoons of sugar in my tea please right so advice and gold okay so gold is an uncountable noun machinery is an uncountable noun sugar is an uncountable noun but advice is a abstract noun so all these things all these uncountable nouns and the abstract nouns we always use only in the singular form okay some abstract nouns there are exceptions some abstract nouns they can have the plural form as well for example decision decisions victory victories failure failures shot shots but the rule will apply the same that if it is ending with a consonant in y so we will add i e s by replacing y right so some abstract nouns they have plural form as well so you have to decide you have to see where the singular noun is used and where the plural noun is used so you have to go through the rules very 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 sincerely okay you have to keep this these points in your mind and now we are coming to the next important points that are the following nouns are usually plural in form noun plus s because they are they consist of two inseparable parts okay scissors shorts jeans trousers tongs goggles right so these things they are inseparable so we use this in the plural form only right because we can't separate them okay scissors we can't separate shorts we can't separate jeans we can't separate trousers also tongs also and goggles also so they work with a pair so when we have to speak about one of these nouns we put a pair of before the nouns like trousers jeans goggles example we say a pair of trousers a pair of jeans a pair of goggles okay so if i want to say that i have bought two pairs of trousers right so i can use two and with two i can use pairs okay pairs the plural form can be pairs we can say if we have one so we can say a pair of trousers but if i have bought two so i will say i have bought two pairs of trousers right okay now important points here also okay so collective nouns are singular when they refer to a group as a whole okay collective nouns they are always treated as singular when they refer to a group as a whole like the team is winning the match okay so we use a singular term we use the verb also in a singular form only okay so a group will be treated as a whole so the ter team is winning the match but there are also exceptions however some collective nouns they are always used in the plural form and take a plural verb like the cattle are grazing in the fields the people are walking down the street right so here there are here, al here also there are exceptions collective nouns they are singular when they refer to a group as a whole the team is winning the match and then there are exception like they are used in the plural form for some some collective nouns not all collective nouns some collective nouns they are always used in the plural form like the cattle are grazing the people are walking okay now i just want to tell you that what is a compound noun a compound noun is a noun which is made up of two or more words so here comes a rule 
regarding that when a noun is made up of two or more words it forms the plural by adding s to the main word for example mother in law mothers in law the uh, the plural form is mentioned with a yellow color you can see there passer by passers by stepson stepsons in in this you can see the main word is sons son so we have made sons as a plural form right so you can see here the important point like collective nouns they are singular when they refer to a group as a whole some collective nouns they are always used in the plural form okay a noun which is made up of two or more words is known as a compound noun right okay now okay students with this uh, we come to an end of today's topic that is uh, singular and plural nouns and i have discussed you uh, with you the two rules today and the important points related to those rules right so i will be giving you a small homework that you have to do in your practice notebook and it will be checked as i have informed you earlier also that it will be checked uh, as soon as the school will reopen and till then uh, you just complete your homework complete your task so i will be uh, showing you the homework part and discussing the same with you now okay now here is your homework part in your homework i have given you two questions first question is rewrite these sentences changing the nouns to the singular form and you have to make the changes as required you have to change the verb or you have to use this or that or these or those so you have to see there that what you can change the <coughs> tense or what you have to change okay so first sentence is dogs chase cats okay what do you have to do you have to change the nouns to the singular form children love to play video games my sons in law are very helpful the shepherds are driving their sheep homewards fifth sentence the deer were attacked by the wolf sixth sentence the geese are playing south for the winter seventh please give me some advice right so here are the sentences which you have to change the nouns to the singular form okay so i shall be explaining this question with the help of an example like uh, the babies are crying so the babies is a plural form and i have to change this plural form into a singular form so how can i change that like the babies are crying so i can write a baby b a b y baby is crying right so i have changed the plural form into a singular form okay now here we come to the second question that is you have to rewrite these sentences after changing the nouns to the plural and plural nouns to singular so you have to make other necessary changes if the sentence if in the sentence it is totally singular noun so you have to change that singular noun into a plural noun and if mm -hmm. in a sentence it is written totally into a plural word so you have to change it into a singular words for example the boy is eating an ice cream first one the boy is eating an ice cream second sentence her son has bought a new pair of jeans third the child had gone for a picnic with her parents fourth the students are writing essays fifth there are dolls in the shops so okay so now the second question also i will explain you with an example like there is a desk in our classroom so it is a totally it is a singular noun so what i'll do is there are many desks in our classrooms right so i can write that okay so you can see clearly the question number 1 rewrite these sentences changing the nouns to a singular form make other changes as required and rewrite these sentences after changing the singular nouns to the plural and plural nouns to singular so you have to make the other necessary changes okay so here is your homework part right so thank you for watching this video okay now with this i come to today's topic so uh, i hope you will do the homework and we will discuss it tomorrow so till then take care of yourself stay at home stay safe thank you so much